let's uh, talk a little bit about the CBS Thursday night NFL package. Kind of give us some cliff notes here and what do you think it means for the NFL? Well, the first thing I thought of when I read about this deal was like, you know, people have been talking about the fact that the NFL has too many games on TV, right? And we've seen with this Thursday night package, it's gone up over the years from like, I don't know, eight to 13 last season. And now all of a sudden you're going to have 16 games. So, you know, if you look at the ratings, it debunks that whole myth about too much NFL football. Right. It's one of the few things that gets guaranteed live programming, right? People don't tape it and watch it later. So I think it just shows the power of the NFL. And uh, I think the reported $275 million that CBS is paying, it seems like a very reasonable fee. CBS, uh, as far as I've been told, is going to be producing all of the games. Right. They're going to show the first eight on CBS, and then the second eight are going to air live on the NFL. All of them, you'll be able to at least simulcast on the NFL. Right. So you, to me, it's just showing that the brand is getting bigger and stronger for NFL football, and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that is the hook, Scott. I mean, they're going to stick around on the NFL network, but now suddenly you can also watch the game on CBS on free TV, so to speak, with the A-team, Jim Nance and Phil Simms. Yeah, I think for the NFL, they're always obviously looking for ways to grow their revenue. And, Mike, you talked about all the programming that they have already. Um, there's been some discussion about the NFL moving from a 16 to an 18-game season so they can create more inventory. Well, this is just another way for them to really take advantage of the inventory they have. And so, you know, you saw the proliferation of the Monday night game then the Sunday night game, and now they move it to Thursday. And it's really another way for them to grow their media revenues uh, without expanding the, the schedule. What do you think about the idea, Scott, of the fact that we normally see TV deals as six, seven, eight, ten-year deals? This is a one-year with an option. The NFL did that for a reason. You know, a, a lot of the business people that we do business with at J.P. Morgan love to have options. People love to have options and flexibility when they're negotiating any kind of contract. So I think you can see on both sides where there are advantages for CBS. They're not locked in for 10 years. Gives them a sort of a staggered schedule in terms of their uh, relationship with the NFL. And for the NFL, if this thing really takes off on Thursday night, they might have the ability to take it and move it back onto their own platform with the, NF with, with the NFL network. So really just kind of building that Thursday night brand like they've built the Sunday and Monday night football brands. Yeah, and, you know, looking at it just from the other side as well, I'm wondering if this goes really well, which everything in the NFL seems to these days when it comes to television, being a one-year deal, can the NFL then go to potential suitors? Because the NFL owns this network, right? Each of mm -hmm. the teams owns an equal stake. And say, you know what? Maybe we'll sell it, right? I'm, I'm sure they're constantly talking to people about how much they'd be willing to pay to buy it. We know that Google has been interested in, in getting involved with the uh, NFL programming. There's been talk about Netflix. The audience is, is right there. So maybe they say, you know, look at the advertising revenue. Look at the ratings. We can sell it. It's only a one-year deal. Or if not, they'll do what Scott said. But if you build Thursday night to be must-see TV, then somewhere down the line, that becomes really productive for the NFL. They'll either put it back on the NFL network, as you said, or, or maybe five years down the line, it is Google who comes in with a boatload See, of cash. See, this is where I come in and steal something <laughs> that you said to me before the show that I thought was actually the smartest thing we talked about about this. Is you said, you brought up the point that what this does for CBS and how important Thursday night programming was this also keeps one of their competitors from getting mm -hmm. it. This locks up Thursday night. So while there's that $275 million cost and the production cost, what about that opportunity cost of not having to sweat it out and worry about what you know NBC or Fox are going to do that night? I, I think that goes to so much about what this deal is about. Yeah, you talked about liking options. How about strategy, too? That's a pretty good strategy for CBS to sort of block out any other network from owning Thursday night. I think that's definitely true, but it, any of these transactions, you can't underestimate the, uh, the relationship aspect as well. You know that Robert Kraft is always involved. Anything big with the NFL, anything media-related, he's there, and he has a very long standing personal relationship with the CEO of CBS, Les Moonves. In fact, CBS has a restaurant on scene at Patriot's Place called the CBS Scene. Uh, and that just shows the power of the relationship between the NFL and CBS. And uh, at least from what I've read, those two guys got together and helped to make a deal here.